Hello, welcome to Evangelical End Time Machine. My name is Josie. On February 27, 2017, the messenger angel of God brought on the following message to Prophet Benjamin Kosainson. Shalom, I greet you in the almighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahweh, Jesus Christ. Verily, do you already allow yourself to be used as a chosen cornerstone? Verily, my name is Preking, and I am a messenger angel of God. Verily, you are perhaps rejected, but especially that stone is now chosen. 1 Peter 2 verses 3 to 5 If indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious, coming to him a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God, precious. You also, as living stones, are built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Verily, as a living stone, you are responsible because you bring spiritual sacrifices. And along with all those chosen stones, you make Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, glad by building in the evangelical end time machine in order to be able to enjoy together what God is going to bring. 1 Peter 2 verses 6 to 10 Because it is contained in Scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, chosen and precious. He who believes in him will not be disappointed. For you who believe, therefore, is the honor. But for those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. For they stumble at the word, being disobedient, to which also they were appointed. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession, that you may proclaim the excellence of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, who in time past were no people, but now are God's people, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Verily, you may be a Christian, but God asks your support, and to not be a stone of stumbling. The responsibility counts for every believer to contribute to the building of God's kingdom. Hebrews 7 verses 1 to 10. For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of God most high, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him, to whom also Abraham divided a tenth part of all being first, by interpretation, king of righteousness, and then also king of Salem, which is king of peace, without father, without mother, without genealogy, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but made like the Son of God, remains a priest continually. Now consider how great this man was, to whom even Abraham, the patriarch, gave a tenth out of the best spoils. They indeed of the sons of Levi who received the priest's office have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law, that is, of their brothers. Though these have come out of the body of Abraham, 
But he whose genealogy is not counted from them has accepted tithes from Abraham and has blessed him who has the promises. But without any dispute, the lesser is blessed by the greater. Here people who die receive tithes, but there one receives tithes of whom it is testified that he lives. We can say that through Abraham, even Levi, who receives tithes, has paid tithes, for he was yet in the body of his father when Melchizedek met him. And Malachi 3, verses 8 to 12. Will a man rob God? Yet you rob me. But you say, how have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with the curse, for you rob me, even this whole nation. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and test me now in this says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough for, I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast its fruit before its time in the field, says the Lord of hosts. All nations shall call you blessed, for you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. Verily, you form part of it as a cornerstone by supporting God's projects, such as for the church Ruach in the Philippines and the church Ruach in Suriname, and aid for the poor and for evangelism, and the Evangelical Anti-Machine website, and other costs. Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, always passes on to God's beloved prophet, Benjamin Kosainson, about what projects and where it will go. You can find more information in the website under the name Send Free Gift. 2 Corinthians 9, verses 5 to 9. I thought it necessary, therefore, to entreat the brothers and sisters that they would go before to you and arrange ahead of time the generous gift that you promised before, that the same might be ready as a matter of generosity and not of greediness. Remember this. He who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. He who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Let each man give according as he has determined in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, that you, always having all sufficiency, in everything may abound to every good work as it is written he has scattered abroad he has given to the poor his righteousness remains forever verily also listen to the other messages about tithes such as the message entitled he will give it back to you sevenfold from November 13, 2014, in the website, you will also find a link titled Ties, Romans 13, verse 7. Give, therefore, to everyone what you owe, taxes to whom taxes are due, customs to whom customs, respect to whom respect, honor to whom honor. Verily, is Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, he who deserves all honors, not worth much more to you? Matthew 22, verses 20 and 21. He asked them, whose is this image and inscription? 
They said to him, Caesar's. Then he said to them, Give therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. Verily, always bring your sacrifice in all honesty, and in humility, and in love, to the King of kings. We bring sacrifices of praise to you into your house, O Lord. Up wet King's leader in 273. I'm going now, spoke the messenger angel of God. Ruaha, Yeshu, Shalom. And also I say to you, Ruaha, Yeshu, Shalom.